female firsts in history didn't just have to contend with the normal difficulties faced by pioneers, we women also had to overcome the foolish and incorrect opinion that we couldn't achieve great things. Thankfully, many brave and inspiring women didn't let silly ideas like that stop them. Ladies, put down your crochet or whatever domestic frivolity you're currently engaged in and pay attention to this important warning. Never try to cross the Atlantic in an aeroplane on your own. Your weak and frail bodies are not up to the task. Don't take my word for this. Ask this gentleman. I'm Amelia Earhart and I was the second person of either sex to fly across the Atlantic solo. Help! He's a lady! I broke records, flew dangerous missions and won the US Distinguished Flying Cross. Good for you. I'm too clever. <laughs> While clever ladies like Ms. Amelia Earhart may fly airplanes, if their husbands allow them, it is unladylike to fly airplanes during a war. The traumas will be too much for your fragile minds to take. But don't take my word for it. Ask these brave gentlemen of the RAF. I'm Pauline Gower and I created the women's section of the ATA, the Air Transport Auxiliary. Heavens, all the men are all ladies. My moustache has fallen off in shock. We were known as the Atta Girls, and not only did we fly the planes, we also flew broken ones, which was much more dangerous. Does anyone have any smelling salts? I'm feeling a little. I'm Joy Lofthouse, and we flew everything from Spitfires to long range bombers. All right. All right, I'm all right. Even in the 1940s, we were paid the same as men. It's the same. It was the first time the British government agreed equal pay for equal work. Listen, ladies, this is ridiculous. You just can't. Curlies. Ah, women. Be warned. Idiots like me will say you can't do things just because you're female. Don't listen. Very good. Which one of you clever gals did the typing? Hello, I am Valentina Tereshkova, proud Russian and first lady to go into space. But what happened during my three-day orbit of planet Earth? Did I, A, get terrible nosebleeds, B, couldn't stop sneezing, C, kept being sick? And the answer is C. In space, many cosmonauts feel sick from lack of gravity. I did much puking and also leg hurt, and couldn't leave seat for three days, and nearly died when orbit calculations wrong, and nose smashed on helmet, and then nearly drowned when parachute land near big leg. But apart from that, best fun ever. Highly recommend. Two vertical thumbs. Horrible history.